Oh my goodness, sitting here listening to podcasts. I, cutting trees. I got some dozer work coming up. So I learned my lesson. Yes, the dozers can just happily push trees over. And, and it's not a problem. Until you go back to try to clean those trees up. And then it's a, it's a, it's a, a nightmarish game of pickup sticks. <laughs> Terrible. It's all mushed together, smashed together, and now nah, you don't want to do something like that. So I'm clearing it all out right now before I bring the dozer in. It's easier this way, cleaner. But I'm sitting here and I'm listening to a podcast while I do it. Um, a podcast that I listen to while I out here and do this stuff. Stuff that I could like. I don't listen to things that I sit and agree with. I listen to Ben Shapiro. I listen to Steven Crowder. That guy's a fucking... He... My biggest... My biggest bugbear on Steven Crowder would be... He calls himself a comedian. Uh, He's, he's, he's chuckle free. It's a chuckle free zone. The only people, like, they're laughing. I hear him in the studio, you know, I can hear, oh, everybody's laughing and having fun, but I'm like, you're not, it's not funny. I don't, I don't, whatever. I don't fucking know. So, I just sit there and I get his opinions. <sighs> Who else did I listen to? Um... Who else did I listen to? Bon Gino. That guy. A lot of everybody's real bombastic. I guess Bon Gino's more bombastic than anything else. Uh, that's more. And then who else? Oh, Tim. Tim Pool. Uh, Tim Pool. He's a. <sighs> he's like this guy who just discovered things and then is gonna make a million videos on it and act like he. He's very manipulatable. I, that's what I see as a person. What I see, I'm like, that guy is malleable. He's plastic. You can tell him whatever you wanted. And he kind of just wants to be cool. I think he was that kid growing up that just wanted to be cool. I mean, he's a fucking... I still skateboard. I still what? I haven't done it for all of this year. I get to do it maybe once or twice. He put a skate... like. Put a skate park in his fucking yard, and that's like his. <sighs> I have a real problem. I guess a. <sighs> and the the common theme that I've been hearing between these people. Lately. Um, well, Tim Pool's like I'm culture like a, like a, this culture thing. It's like fuck off, man. Your coffee shop's not culture. Fuck straight off. <sighs> naive little child but so he's uh anyway the common theme that i've been seeing between these people is their their insistence that united states is based on these judeo-christian values and like they get no pushback they just get no pushback at all on this i think it's because they refuse as much as they want to pretend they do they always pretend we want to hear from people on on the left about this stuff we want to hear well i'm not on the left i'm a section of the right that is an atheist and is really fucking sick let me get a glove on and work i can't just sit here and stare at my work flat my fucking mouth let me do something you know, I, I just don't, you know, I celebrate Christmas. I, I love our country. I, you know, I, I became disabled in service of my community and those around me. I, you know, I have very, very strict values and very strict ethics. People would say, oh yeah, but those come down from the Bible. I don't know what fucking Bible you read. Go read Deuteronomy for me. Go read fucking Deuteronomy for me. 
Come back and tell me a few things. Come back and tell me with a straight face that there are only 10 commandments. <sighs> Just a bunch of Sunday worshipers. They get told stuff and they get, they get to believe it. So they have very little aspect of what goes on, right, outside of their religion. They just get told what to believe. So the founding fathers, did they just read the Bible? Did they just sit around and read the Bible? And is that really going to jive in with what you have around you today? Because no. If you really want to, if you really want to get a knowledge and get an aspect, get a respect of what's going on for today and how, where a lot of our ethics come from, where a lot of our ethics come from today in Christianity, because the ethics of Christianity didn't come from Judaism, did they? No, they didn't. They didn't. Christianity is what happens when Judaism is introduced to the philosophies of the classical Greek world. Fact. Point, period, paragraph. You don't like it? Sorry. It's the way it is. It's the way it is. A lot of these... A lot of these ethics and a lot of these values that we hold today didn't come from Judaism. They came from the Greek world. They came from the likes of Socrates, Aristotle, Plato. Came from the likes of, you know, great thinkers. Right? And, and it's unfair to say... And now, the reason they can get away with saying that this is all just Judeo-Christian. Judeo-Christian values. And they conveniently ignore... They flat and full-heartedly ignore any any philosophical teaching from the classical Greek world. Look at the obelisk. Look at the look at the buildings that the founding fathers built. Tell me for a second that antiquity, the classical antiquity and the thoughts, architecture and everything about that time wasn't full in front in their minds. Go look at the rotunda. Go look at Monticello. Mm -hmm. Go look at the Capitol building. Go look at the White House. Go look at these things and tell me that wasn't what they were trying to portray. <sighs> Go look at the style of government that you have set up for you. Oh. Is it a Judeo court? Huh? Does it resemble Pharisees in any fucking way? Or... Does it resemble a Roman court? Based on... Based on the court of Athens before it. It's just that people don't know. People don't read. People don't care. People don't understand. They get told one thing. Who reads Deuteronomy? You think there are just Ten Commandments? Nope. A lot more than that. That's why I have a respect for people like, although he keeps saying this, this bullshit fallacy, I have a, I have a respect for, for people like, uh, uh, Ben Shapiro, who, who live by what they say. Um, that's all right. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I like that. I may think that the religion is stupid and horseshit, but hey, if you're following it to the fucking T and the words line up and your ethics follow my ethics, we're fine. I don't care about words. It's not, I'm not here to talk you out of it. That's the thing about me is I'm not here to tell you that God doesn't exist. I'm not here to sway you or anything like that. I'm just here to say, like, slowly fucking roll on the Judeo-Christian value shit. You're not putting your fucking wife once a month in a tent. <laughs> so don't fucking talk to me about this shit. 
go read, go read that book and then tell me, yeah, I do all that stuff. And yeah, I would agree with all that stuff. No, you wouldn't. No, you would not. Straight up. But also, go back and read. <sighs> read. Get some, get some actual perspective. Read, read the old philosophers, right? Plato's. Uh, um, I would read the Apology by uh, Socrates. Apology written by Plato. You can, you know, do something like that. I read a lot of. Although Christianity was around at this time, but it's around in its formative years, and we have formative thinkers like Marcus Aurelius and the teachings of Stoicism. Stoicism is far more older, or far more older. That was stupid. Far older than Christianity. But it's interesting. Once you know Judaism and once you know Greek Stoicism and Greek philosophy and different sort of these ideas, then you can look at Christianity and then see, ah, right. It makes, it makes a little bit more sense now how that happened and why they think the way they do. And the reason they don't want to give you give give philosophy any sort of a shrift is because they can't. They can't. These people, these these podcasters, their world of view is Christianity. To eat at that at all is a fundamental questioning within themselves that they cannot handle. They can't. La 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 na 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 la 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 na na Somebody watching this video probably did this a long time ago and shut it off. La 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 la, nah, -uh, nah, -uh, you're wrong. La 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 la. All right, but I'm not, and you know I'm not. <sighs> now that doesn't denigrate where Christianity is today. I think if people are going to believe in a god, I'd rather them you know have the ethics and morality that says leave me the fuck alone and do what you want mm -hmm. right it's classical liberalism people call it if that didn't show itself up in the bible there ding dong <laughs> where where did that come from hmm. <laughs> But, oh yeah, the Judeo-Christian values of classical liberalism. What? It's like telling me the cart invented the horse. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get back to work. I just, I just keep on with this podcast. I'm just like fucking. <sighs> the the re the religion thing just gets me constantly. I don't, I don't hate religion. Unlike a lot of people, I just don't, I don't, I just don't believe, it's like, it's like, it's like trying to convince you of the Aztec religion, or it's like trying to convince you of some other, th you know what I'm saying? It just wouldn't work. You'd be like, yeah, no, right? It's, no, no, Apollo doesn't carry the sun around the Helios, right? Helios isn't a fucking thing. You know, his chariot isn't a thing. Right? It's like me trying to tell you that, you know? It's like, no, that's... It's not real. And I don't have to hate that. For me to say, mm, no. <laughs> but I still celebrate Christmas and I still have fun because... It's fun. And it's popular culture. And it's... Whatever. Where did that come from? No, give a shit. <laughs> it's here now. Christmas, yeah, but that's Christianity. Ha ha ha. Okay. okay. 
I don't. That's not a gotcha. It's just, it's just popular culture, man. Enjoy it. Nothing saying that you can't be an atheist, and 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 be uh, and be a member of popular culture too. That's those two things don't have to go together. Yeah. In fact, I'm probably compared to the larger society around me. Far more conservative. And far more concerned about my progeny and what's left after me and how I live my life every single moment of every single day than the vast majority of Christians out there. Right. See, that's the, it's the benefit of my not having a religion is that I have a finite time. I don't get to do this again. There is no waking up in an afterlife for me. This. At times it's terrifying and at times it's freeing. Because people ask me all the time why I dress the way I do. Oh, I'm only going to do this once. I'm going to do it with fucking style. Why I'm up at the butt crack of dawn. Why I get so much done. My neighbors are all just like, shit, dude, you get so much done. Compared to everybody else around me on this street that's building, I'm hammering. I'm smashing forward. People notice. Uh, and it's because I don't have time. I don't have that time. Now, that... that that philosophy that I just shared with you right then, where did that come from? Did that come from Christianity? Deo Christian values? <clears throat> or did that come from classical Greek world? All right. I can't f quit flapping my face. I have to do this several more times. Get these trees knocked out of here. All right. My house. What we're going to do is we're going to move my house. I'm going to push all this flat. Move my house up into this position after I get... Fuck. Push that flat. Dig the cement forms. Dig the trench for the water. Ten feet deep, they say. Ten feet down. I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to get away with something else. Oh, well. If you want to see my adventure and see all the, the... If you want to see the actual building process and what we're doing, I have a membership, and I'm putting all that stuff on membership. I'm sharing it with those people. Because it's those people... It's those people... You're all appreciated. But it's those people who fill up that tank. You get me? In, in order to reward them and have a special thank you for them, uh, all my building, everyone who, everything that involves that tank, right, is given to those people. I already have uh, uh, one, one subscriber. Keith, Keith Evans, thank you very much. I appreciate you camera through this. It's all for my daughter. It's all for my daughter. And her children and her children and her children. It'll start with me. You see. It's my values. <laughs>